All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Wellrod Mark II mod, which is being made by user ASXAS. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the real world historic Wellrod Mark II pistol. And I've been having a whole lot of fun with this weapon so far in the game, as not only is it, as mentioned, a real world historic gun, which I always love seeing but it's also a very weird gun and I like weird so let's uh, jump on over here and have a look at what we do get with the Wellrod Mark II which in its most standard configuration will deal just 30 damage with a 10 millimeter round with a firing rate of 2 range of 23 accuracy of 62 and a weight of 3.4 and as you can see here, it is a very beautifully made weapon. I mean, simple, but I mean, it's a well rod. It is a very simple gun, but it certainly does look the part and looks identical to any image I've ever seen of a well rod. And all in all, it's just a well made thing. And of course, a nice silenced gun. This is a perfect weapon for a good sneaky character. It may not do the most damage ever. It has a very, very short range. But if you are sneaky and can get up close to people, it can take them out pretty well with a nicely placed headshot. All that lovely sneak damage there. Very cool. Now, there are not a lot of modifications for this thing. We only have two categories with receivers and sights. And um, you only get two at the beginning, as in one modification in receivers, the standard one, and one modification in sights, the standard one. How this gun works is as you kill enemies, you unlock more things. At five kills, you get glow sights. All right. At 25 kills, you get a calibrated receiver. And at 50 kills, you get a gold plated receiver. And now the receivers will up the damage, which is quite handy. And of course, the glow sights make the iron sights a little bit more functional, especially in darker environments. And it's kind of cool that, you know, you do have to unlock these things as you go. And in fact, I'm a one short of the final unlock. So just to show off how that works, let me go into the console commands here and just pop a bloat fly real quick. And we will kill this guy here. And a uh, boom, there we go. And look at that. I've gotten 50 kills with my well rod and have unlocked the last modification. A gold-plated receiver. Congratulations. Understandable. Have a nice day. All right, all right. I like that. I like that. Now, this is because we got the 50th kill. At the 5-kill glow sights and 25-kill calibrated receiver, you just get a little bit of UI that pops up in the corner saying, you unlocked a new part. But it's pretty neat to give you a little extra here for the final unlock for the last modification. Pretty cool indeed. So there we go. We can take a look now at all of them in the weapon workbench. Though before we do, how do you get your hands on one of these lovely guns? Well, it's pretty simple. You can go and make it at any chemistry station in the world. And we'll look at that in a moment. But you can also find one in the world over at Thicket Excavation. Now, it's in one of the office pods there, just sitting on the desk next to the computer. So, yeah, you can get one pretty early on in the game, just right there at Thicket Excavation. And being, you know, using the 10 millimeter rounds, I'd say it's a pretty good early game sort of stealth pistol for any sneaky characters. If you do want to make it though later on, you are going to need some skills. Let's go into the chemistry station here down to utility and you can make a well rod mark two. So long as you have a five adhesive, a 50 aluminum, three oil and two springs as well as rank three in gun nut, which I think that personally is a bit high considering the level requirement for rank 3 in Gun Nut. Uh, granted, you do find one in the world very early on, so I don't mind it that much. But if you do want to make more of them, it's going to be a little bit, I'd say, early mid-ish game. 
Now let's go take a look at the modifications we do have and jump right here to the weapon workbench. And in the receiver category, again, like I mentioned, when you just get this gun, it only is going to have that standard receiver dealing that 30 damage. Now you can unlock at 25 kills the calibrated receiver, which is going to up it to 51. And that new gold-plated one we got there, <laughs> all right, that is going to give us 72 damage. It's beautiful. So let's actually uh, make that one here now so I have one of those guns ready to go. And then in these sights, once more, when you first get it, it's only going to be the standard. And once you get the five kills, you unlock the glow sights, which I've already got one made over on the wall with that. So I uh, don't have to make it there. But yes, let's uh, go and take a look at this thing in use while well, firing at the range, which I mean, I kind of showed off with the blood fly, but all right, well, let's grab. Right here is the calibrated one. I like the look of it with uh, all being taped up. It's kind of neat. Let's actually go take a look at those three versions here real quick. So we've got the standard one here, just with the standard sort of steel look to it. Very nice. We then have the calibrated one, which has just a lot of tape all over it, giving a little bit more interesting of a look. And then, of course, the gaudy gold-plated one, which is just wonderful. <laughs> Now, no matter which one you go with, it's going to be that 10 millimeter and still going to be the same old sound. So let's just grab the standard one here and take some shots at the target. And there we go. All six of our shots in. And yeah, a very, very slow firing gun. Not a lot of range to it, but a very cool reload and uh, I guess cocking animation. I was looking for the word there. Very nice, you know, spinning around the back of the gun there, twisting it, pulling it back. And then of course the reload, you're basically exchanging the entire handle of the thing. Just very cool, nice and smooth there. I do enjoy it. So let's take a look at this thing in use against a living target, which I mean, again, technically we already do with the blowfly there, but let's get something a bit tougher. Now, I'm not going to do a death claw today because, oh boy, even with the gold plated one dealing 72 damage, oh uh, yeah, we're not taking down a death claw with this thing. So let's just give ourselves uh, a raider. I've got one already saved up right there. And hello, sir! And bye bye sir! Oh, there we go! Ooh, almost in one shot! Oh god, oh god, oh, did, missed him on the second. And he's dead. Lovely. Well, let's uh, reload the magazine there, pop in another. For some reason, he also wasn't angry with me right from the get-go. So let's see, let's take a nice sneak shot. And boom! Down in one. Now, of course, these are some pretty early game raiders, but still, it's going to be a pretty early game gun for you overall. Let's get ourselves two in the world. We'll sneak down and take out one. And then the other will probably be angry with us. No, he wasn't. <laughs> well, oh, now he is. I winged him, though, so, well, there we go. Wonderful. Yeah, the well Rod Mark II is just a fun, neat little gun. A perfect weapon for a sneaky character who doesn't mind getting up close and personal with their potential targets. And all in all, just has a fun little mechanic with the unlocks for the kills. And it's just a neat, historically based weapon. So if you'd like to take a look at this for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next, but until that time, uh, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!